Welcome, you are watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. Recently, Ukrainian political arena has sunk into quite a turmoil after ex-governor of Odessa region Mikhail Saakashvili crossed the Ukrainian border after being stripped off Ukrainian citizenship. We've been watching the situation around former Georgian president and one-time Ukraine's president Petro Poroshenko's ally quite closely. Today, we're joined via Skype by Maxim Yali from the Institute of World History of the National Academy of Sciences in Ukraine. Mr. Yili, hello and thank you for joining. Hello. Uh, so, of course, I think that the whole world has been watching the situation around Mikhail Saakashvili allegedly illegally breaking and crossing through Ukraine's border. Why do you think Mikhail Saakashvili wants to return to Ukraine so badly? Well, because actually it's the only way for him uh, to restore his political career. I mean, after last uh, elections uh, in Georgia, it has become obvious that uh, he has no chances there because his party uh, lost. Uh, therefore, uh, only in Ukraine he can, uh, re I would say, I would say, restore his uh, career. So that's mm -hmm. the main reason. Saakashvili's uh, political party in Ukraine is uh, still under construction, if I may say so. But it already has a rather high rating, I would say 4%. Do you think that the incident with him crossing the border uh, like that would uh, turn into the rating growing? Definitely. This uh, situation uh, will add uh, him uh, some percent and uh, support among uh, Ukrainians who are not satisfied uh, with the uh, president, prime minister, I mean, uh, the current government, etc. But uh, if you ask me the same question just a month or two months ago, I would say that his party uh, doesn't have any political uh, future. Because, so. uh, he because his party lacks both... Uh, organizational and uh, financial resources and uh, support. We know that uh, in uh, around Ukraine there are no organizational structures uh, in uh, even in big cities, uh, which which is a very important uh, condition uh, during uh, election uh, campaign. Uh, moreover, his uh, support among uh, Ukrainians uh, dropped uh, significantly, even if you compare with uh, the last year, so his support was just about 1-2% uh, due to public opinion polls. But now, of course, uh, he has more chances, but uh, also under some very important conditions. As you know, after he uh, came back uh, to Lviv uh, uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, uh, he conducted uh, negotiations and still, I guess, uh, is conducting negotiations with uh, other uh, uh, representatives of uh, opposition, Yulia Timoshenko, uh, Nalibaychenko, uh, the mayor of Lviv, uh, Sadawi, and some others. And uh, only if they uh, unite uh, their efforts and organizational and uh, financial resources, only in this case, uh, Mikhail Saakashvili will uh, have uh, chances, I mean, his party to get uh, through uh, during next elections, but also it depends uh, whether there will be early elections or uh, in 2019, because until 2019 there is still too much time left and uh, many things may, may uh, change. Also, still... the biggest... Excuse me, but still, speaking about uniting uh, forces and financial support, there is information cited by different sources already that Mikhail Salakashvili has already collaborated with one of Ukrainian oligarchs, Igor Kolomoisky, against Poroshenko. If that's true, what could be the outcome? Well, the main reason, not reason, but uh, important thing is whether it's true. Because, as we know, uh, he was used, actually, frankly speaking, by President Poroshenko uh, two years ago uh, in his conflict with uh, Mr. Kolomoisky. I mean, Mr. Saakashvili criticized him in all uh, channels, national channels, uh, very badly. And uh, they were 
scandals between them, because Mr. Klamoyski is also very, you know, uh, such a man who wouldn't uh, uh, sit quiet uh, when uh, he, while he is offended. So, uh, but another thing, uh, as I know from my sources, up to now, this news was uh, fake news, and uh, okay. this uh, meeting okay. hasn't taken place. But if you take into account who he is meeting with, I mean, Mr. Salawi, uh, uh, Yulia Timoshenko, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they, they have uh, ties with Mr. Kalamoyski, and uh, if... Uh, I guess Mr. Kamuski also uh, clearly understands that uh, the only chance for him to beat uh, uh, Mr. Poroshenko is only uh, unification and to unite all oppositional forces. Speaking and of Andrei Sadavi, uh, really true, then uh, the chances raise significantly. Okay. Speaking of Andrei Sadavi, who is the mayor of Lviv, uh, the, uh, the the city where Sarkashvili is currently at. Uh, he is an active supporter of Mikhail Saakashvili. Uh, could that be that uh, Mikhail Saakashvili could actually organize the third Maidan, as we call it, but not in Kyiv, though, but in Lviv? And if he does, what could be the result of that? Absolutely not. Uh, okay. No chances. Uh, just even there is nothing to comment. Uh, Maidan 3, even in Kyiv. Uh, still, uh, the chances are very poor even now, and uh, I would say we shouldn't uh, underestimate uh, not even Mr. Poroshenko, uh, who is a very experienced uh, politician, yes, but also Mr. Avakov, uh, the Minister of Internal uh, Affairs, you know, who who broke uh, just um, who had scandals and very bad uh, relations with Mr. Saakashvili. We all remember that scandal uh, when he even uh, threw a, a glass of water uh, to him, etc., etc. So now, and we can see already that Minister of Internal Affairs taken uh, steps. Uh, I would say push back uh, because uh, some uh, people who participated. Uh, in this event, uh, we were taken uh, not under arrest, but at least uh, investigations uh, were opened uh, against them. So I guess we still uh, there is still much to see, and uh, this uh, uh, event, uh, so to say, will be going on and going on. Well, thank you so much. I guess we will have to just wait and see what happens next. But thank you for joining us, and thank you for giving us that information. That was Maxim Yuli from the Institute of World History of the National Academy of Sciences in Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.